developments in the enterprise software market. Here to speak with us about that today is Clint Reiser, Enterprise Applications Analyst at ARC Advisory Group. Clint, it's a pleasure to see you. Welcome. Thanks for having me, Russell. Glenn, I want to turn to the coverage of ARC of the enterprise software market. What would you describe in the scope of that being? How would you characterize that? Well, ARC covers a number of specific markets within the enterprise software segment. Uh, the markets range from supply chain planning to warehouse management and transportation management in the supply chain management area to other areas such as product lifecycle management and enterprise asset management, as well as manufacturing execution systems. Now, as part of our research process, what we also do is cover and review the entire enterprise software market. And what I mean by this is we look on a quarterly basis at the, at the revenues for all of the major publicly traded enterprise software companies, okay? And these companies include SAP, Oracle, IBM Software Segment, um, Manhattan Associates, Descartes, as well as other companies such as QAD and, um, and Hexagon's Technology Group, which is, consists mostly of Intergraph, okay? Um, we go through this process on a quarterly basis and we review the, in, the, the revenues and the change in revenues on a quarter over quarter basis to, to get a, a high level view of the trends in the market. For, uh, for our clients, when we write up our quarterly report, it allows them to, to sort of see where they stand in the larger market and see the larger scope and trends in the market. And it also provides the analysts within ARC Advisory Group context for their analysis of the more narrowly defined markets that we cover extensively. Now, that's quite a large field uh, to be observing and to be reporting on, but so maybe this question is, uh, is going to be some, somewhat difficult to answer, mm -hmm. but trends that you have observed uh, then recently there, what would you say they might be? Well, the quarter-over-quarter quarter growth trends have actually declined substantially over the last year, year and a half. Uh, what we've witnessed is a change from the end of 2011. The growth was uh, quarter over, excuse me, year over year, but on a quarterly basis. The growth went from 15% um, back in 2011 to the most recent quarter, meaning quarter three of 2012, as low as 4%. Now, that, uh, that sounds, uh, you know, a little bit cautionary, but, but it's not as bad as it appears when you look at the specific numbers because what has occurred uh, in lockstep with this growth is a declining value in the euro when measured in dollars. So what we've really witnessed is that at the end of 2011, um, the value of the euro was 9% higher than it was a year prior. Whereas in the most recent quarter, meaning quarter three, once again, the value of the euro was 10% lower than it was the year prior. Now, this affects the, uh, the European revenues of the suppliers, okay, who actually report their revenues in dollars. But when we compile our estimates, we also translate those companies who report in euros, we translate their revenues to dollars. So that has a strong and negative impact upon the quarterly revenues. So revenues have depreciated, uh, or excuse, excuse me, declined. The growth rate in revenues have declined over the last year, but they're not, it's not as bad as, uh, as it would appear when you look uh, just at the top line numbers. You know, supply chain is uh, something that's near and dear to my heart. And I wanna ask you about uh, the presence of supply chain, if you will, in your rather expansive coverage. How would you characterize that? Okay, there's a strong supply chain presence in the, uh, in the enterprise software market. Um, there are suppliers that offer the supply chain planning as well as the transportation management and warehouse management solutions. Um, some names that we include in our quarterly analysis include JDA Software, SAP, who has a, a strong uh, supply chain uh, offering, Oracle, who also has a strong supply chain offering. Um, Manhattan Associates, who is predominantly a supply chain execution company, but also has some supply chain planning revenues, um, and Descartes Software, which has a strong uh, transportation management presence. Final question to you. I want to talk about any trends that you've witnessed that are affecting the market's growth right now. 
Sure, sure. Um, well, Manhattan Associates attributes uh, their, their above trend growth. They've had uh, growth higher than the average that we've witnessed in the uh, enterprise software market over the last year and a half. They attribute a, a large amount of that growth to the development that they, um, they conducted during the downturn. Basically, they spent a lot of money on R&D during that time, and uh, they positioned themselves well for the upturn in uh, technology spending. And uh, specifically, they spent a lot of money on their platform technology, and that has allowed them to uh, to offer a, a lower co total cost of ownership, uh, better integration capabilities, be better um, business process integration capabilities. And what has occurred is a number of their supply of their customers have uh, adopted this platform. The word is spread about the value, and uh, and and things have sort of snowballed in a positive fashion for them. They've also um, they've also had a, a strong uptick in um, their order management uh, software uh, sales. So that's provided growth to them. Um, in addition, uh, SAP's HANA uh, solution, which is a, a fast-paced, uh, rapid uh, planning tool that, ha that, that relies upon in-memory technology, um, that has uh, experienced a tremendous growth uh, over the last few quarters. They've averaged approximately $100 million in, in revenue from that solution. And uh, one of the supply chain planning applications that sits on top of that, uh, that, that device is their uh, sales and operations planning solution that allows uh, sales and operation planners to analyze scenarios in real time, uh, u utilizing large amounts of data, essentially big data. So performance that would have, uh, calculations that would have taken a substantial amount of time can be conducted now on the fly. Um, also, Oracle, uh, I went to Oracle's uh, Value Chain Conference last week, and they uh, they discussed the, the release of their future um, their their upcoming consumption driven planning solution which is also based on um, on in memory technology and they uh, they expect that to also have a, a magnitude of performance improvement um, and that that solution will allow uh, providers to leverage point of sale data and conduct again scenario analysis uh, right at hand on a real time basis so those are those are a few of the uh, of, of the major developments I see in the supply chain planning software uh, arena at this time. You know, Clint. Uh, ordinarily, when we talk about uh, this type of. Uh uh, software, we talk about the technology itself. We talk about the solutions and specifically what it is they do. This has been, I must say, a very, very interesting look into the footprint of these companies and, of course, to the, into the financial side of things. So I want to thank you for that. I want to thank you for finding the time to meet with us today. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me. That's Clint Reiser, ARC Advisory Group, and speaking with us today about developments in the enterprise software market. Well, thank you for watching.